You guys are gonna love these cauliflower tacos because they are super flavorful, are very filling, and have an incredible avocado sauce. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. First, we've got cauliflower, shredded cabbage, one batch of my taco seasoning that's listed on my website, or you can use any taco seasoning that you want. Tortillas, you can use flour or corn, lime, olive oil, and for the avocado sauce, one avocado, sour cream, garlic, salt, and cilantro. And for the special cooking tools, we've got one large mixing bowl and one sheet pan. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is trim our cauliflower into florets. And I have to say, I have been cutting cauliflower for a long time and I just recently realized I was doing it wrong for my entire life. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. Now, what I used to do was when it was whole like this, I would try to trim around, get all the leaves and stems off just like that. That's not the right way. Cut it in half, then take your smaller knife, paring knife, and you just trim around the big stem and this makes everything so much easier. It's so much faster and I feel like it's a lot less work than the way I was doing it before. There you go, and you can just quickly trim all the way around, just like that. Now we're gonna break this cauliflower into smaller pieces. And for the size of that, you just have to think ahead. Knowing that we're gonna be making cauliflower tacos, thinking about our tortillas are about this big. We don't want pieces that are too big because it's just gonna be like a big mouthful. This isn't a bad size, but I like to even cut it in half, trim a little bit of the stem off. And like, I think this is a really nice size shape of cauliflower for when we put them in the tacos. So now we're gonna take these cauliflower florets and toss them into our mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of lime juice. I think two tablespoons of lime juice is basically like one lime. Let's go with that. Next, we're gonna give this a quick toss to really kind of get the olive oil and lime juice coated all over the cauliflower. And now we are gonna be adding our taco seasoning. Now, this is a taco seasoning that I created for my website, and I have to say, it is very delicious. You don't have to use my taco seasoning. Um, you can buy the ones at the store, make your own, whatever you wanna do. But if you're interested in mine, I'm gonna link to it in the description below. We're gonna add two tablespoons of my taco seasoning. And you'd really do the same amount with any taco seasoning. Two tablespoons should be perfect. And let's give it uh, another quick toss. All right, guys, so this is how the cauliflower should be looking at this point. Come on, get a shot of that. All right, so next we're gonna grab our sheet pan and we're gonna take this cauliflower and spread it out all across the sheet pan. And here is one important tip. You don't wanna crowd the cauliflower too closely together. Try to give it a little bit of space, a little bit of breathing room. And like I always do, I forgot to tell you to preheat your oven. You're probably getting sick of this. I'm so sorry I do this every single time. I should tell you at the top of the video. I always forget. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. My apologies. Now we're gonna take this cauliflower and pop it into the oven and we're gonna cook it for anywhere between 20 and 25 minutes just until the cauliflower is fork tender. While the cauliflower is roasting, we're gonna work on this truly amazing avocado sauce. And as you guys will see, I am really excited about this sauce because it really just takes these cauliflower tacos to the next level. So we're first gonna start with one avocado. Oh, and you know, at the top of the video, when I was telling you about the special equipment that you'll need for this recipe, I completely forgot that you're gonna need a small food processor or a blender works too. Sorry. This was a particularly large avocado. You don't need that big of an avocado for this recipe. A medium or small avocado would probably be completely fine too. Next, we're gonna add one garlic clove. Now we're gonna add one half cup of sour cream. You guys are gonna see that the sour cream mixed with the lime juice and cilantro does something incredibly magical. Next, we're gonna add the juice of one lime. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. I don't really like to measure this. I just do a couple big pinches. And last but not least, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of chopped cilantro. And you don't really need to chop it too much. I just like to get rid of the stems because I find that they get caught in the food processor. I just chop those off and then dump in the cilantro right on top. 
All right, we're gonna blend this sauce until it's smooth. If you guys don't have one of these small Cuisinart food processors, I really highly suggest you get one because I have a big food processor like most people do, but it's kind of a pain to clean if you're making just a really small amount of sauce like this. So definitely get a small one. Okay, Ooh, this is looking so good. Right, so Mon, get a shot of that. I'm gonna make one little change. So I noticed that it's looking a little thick which is okay for a sauce, but I wanna thin it out just a little bit so it kinda of has a nice drizzle when I put it onto the tacos. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of water, maybe, I don't know, half a tablespoon, and I'm gonna do another quick round of blending just to thin it out a little bit. And that should totally do it. Let me just check that consistency, yes, okay. That is a much more kind of saucy, a little bit looser of a texture, and that's exactly what I want. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at the cauliflower and see how we're doing. Oh yeah, okay. This is looking really good so far. So all I'm gonna do is take my fork and just move it around a little bit, just so that if the more cooked side is on the bottom, we're allowing the cauliflower to cook evenly all over. And I'm gonna give it a quick fork test to see how done it is. It's still a little firm, so I think I'm probably gonna give it another 10 minutes. So that's gonna be around 25 minutes total. Okay. Look at this, guys. If anybody has a good recommendation for oven mittens, will you let me know in the comments below? Because clearly I am in need. Okay, uh, cauliflower is totally done. Let's see how we did. Ooh, nice. This is looking so, so good. Look at that beautiful roast cauliflower. And so this is what I'm looking for here. So of course we want the cauliflower to be cooked through. So we want it to be fork tender. So we just take a fork. Yeah, that's really nice. But I also like it when it's not too soft because I want it to still have a little bit of a crunch. It definitely feels more filling when you leave it a little al dente. The next thing I'm looking for is, I love these little charry bits. So it's not burnt, there's just charry bits around the outside of the cauliflower. And that's also really nice in a cauliflower taco because it gives it this almost like smoky type of flavor that I think is really, really nice. So now that we've got this, let's go ahead and assemble our cauliflower taco grab some cauliflower, and I've got my flour tortilla here that I've already warmed up on top of the burner. That's the best way to do it. Never put a tortilla in a microwave. Please never put a tortilla in a microwave. Please never put a tortilla in the microwave. Okay, take a little bit of cauliflower, put it right into the middle, and then I'm gonna take some of my shredded cabbage, put it right here, right in the middle, and I'm gonna take a little bit of the avocado sauce that we made earlier, right there. And this looks so incredible. I cannot wait to give this cauliflower taco a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my healthy recipes playlist. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm, wow. These cauliflower tacos are so incredibly delicious. You really taste the lime and the avocado and the sour cream coming through with a little bit of cilantro. And of course, the shredded cabbage. Guys, these are so good. They're so filling. I promise you, you won't miss the meat at all. This is a fantastic vegetarian recipe. You've gotta give it a try. I'll see you guys in the next video.